let's go over the best changes they've made on the DK. You know, I didn't play my DK for a while now because of these specific things that they're changing that are going to make me want to play it again. So first off, the first thing they're changing that I like, because there's many things I like that they're changing, it's about time they're doing that. Finally, the developers of Elder Scrolls are listening to the people and doing what we want. So, Burning Embers, instead of healing for 50%, it now heals for 100% of the damage done, and it can crit. So that's going to make you know, the DKs be able to do a lot of DPS while doing damage at the same time, basically making them heal for a lot and deal damage. That's great. The second change they made that is super cool, Dark Talents reduced the cost of disability and the Burning Talents morphed to 3,078 down from 4,050 to help them be slightly more accessible in usability and to be better and to better account for the fact that the Immobilized may fail in many cases. You know, it does suck when the ability fails to clench the people because that's the only reason why you're casting it. Most of the time, it's to clench the enemies. But if it does not clench the enemy, you just wasted 4,050 Magicka. But now that it will only make you lose 3,780 Magicka, well, it's way better, you know? Like, if you fail cast it twice, you're losing 540 less Magicka. That's major, and I'm happy about that. I'm going to use the skill a lot more now and spam it everywhere. The next change they made is the best one. This one threw me off my chair. I literally logged in to go see what gear I had on my DK because I seriously intended on playing my DK again. And I want to thank personally the developers of Elder Scrolls Online for making this change. It's about time. Eruption Morph. Reduce the, reduce the cost per tick of this morph to 270 down from 278 to ensure it costs a similar amount of other dots. Reduce the damage per take by 29%. You know, like, man, this ability, just because it cost 8 more per tick, it made it basically useless because that 8 changed everything. And the fact that they reduced the damage approximately per tick by 29%, approximately, they don't even know the real value, but let's say it's 28.8892, whatever, like approximately 29%. Okay, well, that is making it even more better. It costs you eight less, and you're going to do 29% less damage. That is the best thing they could have ever done. And most people who are going to see these changes are going to be like, holy shit, I'm happy they did that. It's been bothering a lot of people for years, like, since day one, people have been complaining about that cost since they made the change of the cost per tick. The next thing that they did that is super beneficial because I like to DPS on a mag DK when I do PvE is that they removed the damage that you get from the Molten Armaments that increases the damage of your heavy attacks. It increases the damage of your light and heavy attacks now because it procs and power. And, you know, like, everyone uses their DK for DPSing. You know, when you do a 12-man group, usually you'll have at least six DKs in the group for the trial group because you want them to do these light attack damages because they proc and power all the time. So you're, like, heavy attack nonstop, man. And it's, like, the best group composition ever. Now it's, like, the best group composition. I think people are going to do trials because of this change right here because everyone, like, you know, like... They're going to see the Empower that it gives you, and they're going to be like, whoa, we have Empower during the whole time? So, like, we can actually, like, do light and heavy attack damage by 80%? Wow. Like, we're going to have groups of 12 in Trials, all DKs, because of that change. Because everyone DPSs with DKs in Trials. It's common. You know, they're not tanks. They're DPS. They're the best in slot. That Empower move right now, it doesn't even work in PvP anymore. Like, Empower doesn't do nothing in PvP, so, like, basically it's going to be useless on DKs in PvP. That's a big nerf for DKs in PvP. But since most people use their DKs not to tank, but DPS, this change is OP. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're happy to have heard all the great changes that the best developers in the world are making to the game 
40 decades. 